Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Safe by the Bell, the complete collection, is being released today from Shout Factory, right here, baby. And a little bit later on in this video, I'm going to unbox and talk to you guys about uh, my thoughts on this set and the show and everything like that just after the hoarding up portion of this video so stay tuned for that but that was released today and another thing uh, that's released today not a whole big release week whatsoever when it comes to big titles this week is uh tales from the hood two you know what I mean? Like, like, I, I kind of interested in seeing that one because I remembered really liking uh, Tales from the Hood back in the day. So, am I going to buy that new one? Maybe if the price is right. But uh, let's head on out today. And also, uh, my mom's going to be popping in with a guest review today at the end of this video in the review portion. So, stay tuned for that also. But guys, let's get out of here and see what kind of fun stuff uh, there is to be had today. Well, everyone, at my first location of the day, the local Wimby's. Let's head on in there and see what they have. It's a local thrift store and stuff. They have like a small section of movies. I usually go in there every once in a while to check and see if they have anything new. And today's that day. Yeah, guys, they usually have like the, you know, movie DVD section back here in the corner to see if they have anything new since the last time I've been in here. Looks like they have some like new like box sets stuff here, like the complete series of The Wire. Uh, for 30 bucks, which is that's a that's a pretty decent deal, but I think that's DVD. I don't know if that Blu-ray's ever been released of that one right here. They have like the complete series of extras, which I have already. But if you guys have never seen the show, absolutely an amazing show. I, I've always loved that one. Of course, the first handful of seasons of 24 were actually really good, uh, in my opinion. But I'm gonna you know get down here and you know look through them and they have of course you know bookcases and you know stuff over here just like full of them so I'm gonna take a look at them and but yeah still looking through here I've been in here for a little while now I'm not saying a whole bunch of anything super spectacular in here but they do have Tenacious D in the pick of destiny and I believe I heard Jack Black when he was getting his star in the Walk of Fame uh, a, a couple of weeks back I think he was talking about maybe getting together and doing another Tenacious D movie if I'm not mistaken that would be kind of cool because I've always liked the uh, you know Tenacious D and their albums and of course the movie the movie's crazy and stuff but I've always you know uh, kind of really liked it and this is the other thing I, I saw in here you don't see this one very often I mean I already own it Haggard this is like a movie um, Bam Margera made you know with you know with the with you know some of his posse the CK CKY jackass posse and everything that's kind of kind of cool to see over here but not a whole lot of um you know things that I need to get up on you know what I mean like this one right here has some scratches and stuff on it but you know this one right here was actually a good one if you've never seen it before you can't buy me love this one was always kind of a a really good one is that yeah wait is that who I think yeah Patrick Dempsey you know Mick Dreamy from um you know Grey's Anatomy you know one of his uh early early roles and things but yeah not really seeing much in here today and the next location is the local big lots Let's head on in and see if they have anything good. Well, guys, in Big Lots right now, walking up to the section, and it just looks pitiful. Like they haven't touched or changed out anything in months and months. You know what I mean? They have like a little, you know, Blu-ray section down here. There's like some scattered, you know, um, you know, throughout over here, but it doesn't look like anything different or new in here kind of really disappointing you know what I mean like every once in a while they would get some new stuff but it's been like a long while and that's the only section they have um nah no point come on big lots you guys gotta get a new stash of stuff uh, in there there's no point of looking through that because it's just all the same junk that's been sitting around for a while at the next stop of the day whoa the local beast baby well inside Best Buy now taking a look at some of the new releases that came out over here today they still have Deadpool 2 up here it looks like Serpico I don't know I've never been interested in watching any of these Serpico movies I didn't see that one advertised on those websites that I look at and everything like that another one that came out today is the uh, what's it called the HBO series called Barry with uh, Bill Heater is another one that was uh, that came out today over here it's only $14.99 uh, for that one, of course, the Purge or the first Purge uh, is, was <laughs> released today, and Best Buy has their own exclusive, uh, you know, steelbook. But another thing uh, that came out today 
was uh, it was the Step Brothers on 4K uh, right here. Of course, this one's been out for a handful of years now, but uh, for the first time, you know, on, in the 4K format and everything. But uh, am I seeing anything else over here? Uh, Leave No Trace is another film. Looks like it came out today. Didn't know anything about this one, uh, to be honest. But looks like a you know like Travelers. Like a, a, a movie about travelers or something. Not 100%, 100% sure, but let me know in the comments if that's worth watching. But we also got a movie called The Twelfth Man. Well guys, I just came across this over here at Best Buy. It's kind of cool. Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy it because I have all the other seasons by itself. But I didn't know they were putting out a complete series set of the Mary Tyler Moore show on DVD. It's in one of those like weird like you know box sets where they kind of shove them all together in like a little con like a condensed thing. But it's kind of cool. I've always remembered really liking this one when I used to play on Nick at Night back in the day. Well, I'm also trying to look for that Tales from the Hood 2. It wasn't in the new release section, so I'm looking over here and like the, the, the tease. You know what I mean? But like, I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Did I, ho hopefully, I can find that one today because I'm kind of interested in, in maybe picking that one up. But come on, Best Buy. But yeah, guys, when it comes to that new Serpico film, Best Buy has their exclusive version. You know, uh, here on Steelbook, that that cover looks bad, ass, right there. So much cooler uh, than the actual, you know, you know, standard case. But that one was actually kind of cool. But let's see if this, you know, if I make that this new release section has the Tales from the Hood, because I'm not seeing it anywhere. All I'm seeing is Vi the new seasons of Vikings, and of course, the, you know, the the Purge Steelbooks that came out today, which kind of look cool. But like I said, I don't need the double dip. You know, on those, and the other thing that came out is that new Death Race movie, Beyond Anarchy, which I have really no interest in. Well, that may be my last stop of the day, the local Walmart. And you may be asking, going, why did you say maybe? Well, if I find the one movie I'm looking for, The Tales from the Hood 2 in here, there's no reason to go to Target, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> Target these days... Well, guys, in Walmart right now, taking a look at some of the, you know, straight-to-DVD title kind of stuff that they have. The new release stuff is the same, same stuff that they had at Best Buy and things. Just trying to see what they got over here and take a look what they have right here. The Blu-ray and the DVD of Tales from the Hood 2. Blu-ray is $12.96 and the DVD is $10. Bucks. That is killer right there, bro. And, of course, they have a movie called Bloodfest uh, right here, which I've I kind of seen the director around town at different screenings I've been at. I don't know if it's worth watching or not yet or anything, but what else is there? Uh, Better Off Zed. Not sure exactly uh, what that one is, but I found it, baby. What? But guys, I don't know if your local Walmart has these or not. These are actually really kind of cool looking. There's like, you know, of course, you know, uh, movies that have been out for years and years. But like new slip covers here, like uh, Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. With like, you know, like looking like a VHS, you know, coming out the side right there. And like VHS coming out the back. You know, like with like kind of retro covers and everything. Like that one's like five bucks. Of course, we get the retro cover of Rambo First Blood. And, uh, you know, Big Trouble, uh, Little China right there. Of course, with the VHS and the little video store logos and everything like that it's the same you know same discs that we've had for years and years and everything but like you know just like repackaged and stuff look at even john wick you know has one right there along with creed and of course my favorite movie of all time the goonies which this one doesn't look as cool as some of the others and stuff but we got like you know dirty dancing with that same kind of vhs cover and home alone and you know it's a good thing when they have a big abundance of good burger for sale in here they may have like eight or nine copies of good burger for only three dollars and 74 cents if you guys don't already have this go up to your local walmart pick it up man i'm a dude he's a dude he's a dude and well he's a dude she's a dude and we're all dudes hey yeah guys that's all pretty much that walmart has today but the other thing that they have that i didn't see at the other at best buy or anything was uh the, the purge four film collection here on Blu-ray, you get, you know, of course, you know, all the Purge movies and one little set together. That's kind of cool. I don't think that's, I don't think this is like an exclusive or anything, but kind of cool nonetheless. I'm not going to grab it, but I'm grabbing three other things. Well, everyone out of Walmart right now, about to show you guys what I picked up today over here. Everything I picked up was over at Walmart. So, uh, when I was in there and I saw those retro covers and stuff, I just had to get them. Some of them, some of those movies had slip covers. Some of them just had that weird thing that when you open the plastic, it's just, it's just going to peel off. But, uh, the ones I got over there were all like five bucks each. 
I had to get Big Trouble, uh, Little China right here on Blu-ray with a cool, you know, VHS looking kind of artwork with the stickers and stuff on there. And plus, I don't think I own this one at home. You know what I mean? Like ever since I met some of the cast and stuff from that movie at uh, Dragon Fest, I was just trying to look for it in my house and I couldn't find it. I don't know if I really, if I own that or not, but hey, even if I do, I don't have it in this cool retro, you know, cover right here. And the other one I got in the retro cover was The Crow. I'm like, hell to the yeah, man. Like you even get like the, the spine right here. You know what I mean? Like what the VHS looks like, you know, when you stick it in the player and things like that. Really cool, like, concept and stuff. They're trying, really trying to do anything they can to push and sell these older catalog titles. You know what I mean? Like having those uh, Deadpool photo bomb, steel, you know, uh, photo bomb slipcover ones and all sorts of stuff there. These, this 20th Century Fox and some of these companies are really trying to do. And of course, the main one I went out to go get today was only $12.99 over here at, that, uh, at uh, Walmart. And that is Tales from the Hood, uh, number two right here. I just said, you know what? Might as well, might as well get it. It could be kind of cool. Keith David's now like the, you know, the mortician or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like, the, I forgot who the other guy was that played him, at, that played that character in the first one. I forgot his name. So let's head on home now. And I'm gonna do like an uh, unboxing and review of, uh, you know, the new Save by the Bell complete collection set uh, that I got yesterday. So let's head on home. All right, everyone. Now on to this. Uh uh, unboxing and review of the new Saved by the Bell Complete Collection uh, box set that just came out from Shout Factory. If you guys want to get it, you can check out Shout, Fa Shout Factory's website or Amazon and all those, you know, good places and things. But there is something about this set that I want to talk to you guys about. Because one, first, I grew up watching the show, loved it, and just so happy that um, this, this set right here uh, now includes, you know, a, a bonus disc and, of course... Good Morning Miss Bliss, which was the first incarnation of Saved by the Bell before, you know, they changed it to actual Saved by the Bell itself and everything. It has like, what, just, this is like two discs, like 13 or so episodes of the show uh, that, you know, that starred Haley Mills as the teacher and stuff. And then, of course, in this one, we get, you know, Zach Moore, we get Zach, Screech, and Lisa in here. And those are the, Zach, you know, Screech, Lisa, and Mr. Belding are the only four characters that carried on uh, to the Save by the Bell show itself. But it's just really cool that, you know, that inc that's included in there. But here's what the box looks like right here. You get, you know, so I have the wrapping around it because I like trying to keep that stuff intact a little bit. Of course, you get, you know, like a Bayside locker right here with, like, you know, little pictures, like, of them, like, taped up on the locker. It was A.C. Slater, you know, Screech Powers, Lisa Turtle, Zach Morris, Kelly Kapowski, and, of course, you know, you can't forget Elizabeth Berkeley down there, but it has, like, you know, the complete series on here. You get all the, you know, the seasons of the shows uh, right here with the bonus disc and everything. Uh, you turn it around, and it just shows, like, you know, the... And like what the show's about and like some of the special features but uh yeah this is just like you know the art that that we get on the on the front covers of uh these ones right here i'm just really happy that uh you know shaft factory put this out because i don't know I'm, I'm, i've been a big the biggest fan of the show ever since i was a kid growing up just you know watching it and you know uh like you know loving the show of course at the back is just you know the episode guides and stuff but also it comes you know with a, a nice little booklet in here and you get, of course, uh, seasons uh, uh, one and two uh, in a set like this. And, they, you know, they come in, of course, you know, cool, colorful, you know, discs and everything like that. And, of course, we get uh, Save by the Bell, uh, the college years, and uh, it was called the two movies. You know, uh, May, it was called uh, uh, Hawaiian Style, and, of course, Wedding in Las Vegas is the one I've always liked growing up. You know, when Zach and Kelly go to Las Vegas to get married and everything. And of course, we get a bonus disc in here uh, with, uh, you know, all the special features that were on pre the previous editions of Saved by the Bell on DVD. And, um, uh, you know, it was called a new a 45, no, 55 minute long uh, new uh, making of documentary on here with uh, just select cast members and, uh, you know, like producers and directors, uh, you know, of uh, of the Save by the Bell show, I like that. It's like a psychedelic looking. I my my thing was that kind of like, you know, when I got this set in last night, I, cause I, I watched I watched that hour long or so documentary, and I thought that was it was actually really good, and everything. You got like you know Mr. Belding and the guy that played you know Max from you know the, the Max and the Max itself, and you know just like real select you know uh, cast members in here. But this thing said the complete series, and it says of course say we got we get Save by the Bell oh, seasons one through four. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
I bought, I have these old sets from back in the day where you get Saved by the Bell one, seasons one and two in the, you know, this little pack right here. And you, of course you get seasons uh, three and four right here and season five. There's no season five here. And of course, because Miss Good Morning Miss Bliss and the college years, is, it's his own separate thing. Saved by the Bell itself, uh, it, you know what I mean? I, I got really confused with that. So I was like looking at the episode guide on here, the episode guide on here, and the episode guide, you know, the guides on here, and all the episodes that are in these five seasons supposedly here are all in here. And I was just kind of like, wait a minute, did these old sets like, you know, like spread out the, the seasons in a weird way so they can make extra money or something back in the day to make like a, to, a supposed season five because I googled it and Saved by the Bell itself, the show, only lasted four seasons before then, you know, of course, Good Morning Miss Bliss and the college years is its own separate thing but it was just like really like making me go, wait a minute, what? Like I was looking at my sets going, wait a minute, did Shout Factory mess up and not put season five in this set somehow? Nope, all, all the episodes are in here, I just don't know how they split them up in that in those old sets which was kind of like making me go wait what you know the set is out now uh from shout factory so check out shout factory's website or amazon or what have you all right everyone now on to the review portion of this video right here i have a nice size stack of stuff here to talk to you guys about today my mom's gonna be popping in a little bit later on with her guest review this week uh the first one up here i got from uh, universal home entertainment to review for you guys and this is dwayne the rock johnson in skyscraper here on 4K, Blu-ray, and digital copy combo pack. Uh, when I saw the trailers to this, I'm just like, wait a minute. Is this like another Die Hard ripoff, but with just with The Rock in it? And it kind of sort of is. But, like, it's kind of like, of course, it's its own thing. And uh, in this film, The Rock um, uh, plays this FBI investigator, like, ho you know, hostage, negoti uh, hostage negotiator. And at the beginning of this movie, something really goes wrong, and uh, he loses his leg from it. And then it flashes back into the, you know, present day. And, uh, you know, he's just happy, living his life with his family, just trying to live his life the best way he knows how. And uh, now he's getting hired for this job, uh, you know, at this really big, you know, skyscraper, the tall, one of the tallest buildings in the world and you know, to, to make sure you know like you know people are hiring him to make sure that this place is up to code are we cool to build all you know this top story right here like all this kind of stuff and there's like you know going in there doing so but yet there's these bad guys that are trying to you know get into this building and all this stuff and you know all, all just to come to find out his family's in the his family's in the building staying there for the night as he's not there and these you know bad guys come in and take over the building and stuff starts to go wrong and it's just pretty much him trying to get into the building to save his, you know, to save his uh, family and everything and all the craziness that happens from there. Uh, I found this one to be a really enjoyable watch. It's definitely not as good as Die Hard by any means necessary, you know, by by any means. But like, it was it was still fun, fluffy, you know, fun popcorn flick and everything like that. I still really I still really like The Rock, but at the same time, he does he is kind of oversaturated, uh, you know, in the in the film market right now with all these different movies coming out. You know, week after week, he's kind of like a Kevin Hart in a way. You know what I mean? Like how he's always, like Hollywood's always kind of shoving them, you know, in our faces and things. But I really do like him. You know what I mean? He's a really likable, charismatic, per, you know, charismatic uh, actor. And of course, we get Nev Campbell in here, you know, playing his love interest, who I've always liked ever since Party of Five, and of course, the Scream franchise. She's she's a nice addition, uh, you know, to the cast right here. But uh, on this uh, Blu-ray and 4K, we get um. Of course, you know, interviews with, you know, The Rock, behind-the-scenes featurettes, commentary, uh, you know, f uh, from the filmmakers and everything like that. Looks really, really nice here on 4K. Sounds really, uh, really, really good. So if you're a, a 4K aficionado, I recommend this one uh, to be picked up. This looks amazing. Is it the best movie out there? No. But is it, a fun, is it fun to watch? Yes. And uh, next up over here, I got from Lionsgate Home Entertainment, and it's called Generation Wealth. Uh, this is a documentary uh, made by this um, uh, photographer. I, what was her name again? I, I forgot the lady's name already. Uh, Laura Laura Greensfeld. Uh, she's um, I believe that was her name. Uh, she's a, you know a young photographer who's you know been taking pictures of like you know the young and rich and famous you know ever since she was a kid. Like in school, she was always like fixated you know on people and how you know money would like rule their rule their worlds and ru rule their life and try to like make people that didn't have money feel bad and everything like that but she captured all sorts of stuff like this 
you know, with her, can you know, with her pictures, you know, that she took, uh, you know, over the years. Like, she has, like, pictures of, like, you know, Kim Kardashian and her family, you know, like, when they're young. And, you know, she, like, you know what I mean? Like, she, she has, like, these friends that uh, became, like, you know, you know multi-millionaires. And like, is like, interviewing them and seeing, you know, how money's changed their lives and everything like that it's it's kind of a really interesting you know documentary of course coming from a person that's a maintenance man you know is watching this is going like these people these these, these mother you know it, it's kind of it's kind of it kind of makes me look at these some of these people like come on now come on now it's not all about wearing gucci and all this kind of stuff but i don't know would, would my mind change if i had the money you know what i mean but uh, that's Generation Wealth here. If it sounds interesting to you, I recommend you guys, you know, check it out. But I don't know if it's, I don't, to be honest, I don't know if it's one of those ones you really need to buy. If, you, you know, if you see it on Netflix or like Redbox or something, I would recommend checking it out. It's not like the one you need to own or anything like that. But uh, next up over here, I got from Lionsgate Home Entertainment also. And that is the complete series of Ash vs. the Evil Dead here on Blu-ray. Of course, it has all three seasons. It's, it's sadly got canceled uh, and everything like that. It has all the... All the same discs that we got on the previous sets, you know, and everything in here. But then this was just a, a really fun, uh, cool show. I know I say it's really, I say really fun a lot when I in my reviews and talking about things. But when it comes to this, it is an actually really fun, crazy, you know, over the top, zany, gory, uh, you know, television show. Of course, based off the the Evil Dead movies that came out in Army of Darkness and all that kind of stuff that I loved growing up. The Sam, the Sam Raimi stuff, and of course you just get Ash. Back doing his thing, you know. Neck, neck, people read, you know, read the book of the Necronomicon, and shit starts going wrong. And uh, it's just a, a really fun, you know, ride. God, I'm not gonna say fun anymore. I'm, I'm please, Brandon, don't say fun anymore. Please don't say the word fun. But you do get all the original special features that we got on all the previous editions of this uh, series on Blu-ray. But it's nice, nice now all in one pack together. But if you guys want to own it in one big pack, there you go, right there. And uh, the last step over here, the last uh, four things me and my mom are going to be talking about right now uh, come from this, site, uh, this website called MovieZing.com. I'll have a link for it down below. Uh, this is a company that um, puts out burn-on-demand, uh, you know, discs and stuff. Like ones that, you know, don't get put out in stores. Uh, that the only way you can find them is either on Amazon or MovieZing.com. Mostly, mostly of them on MovieZing.com. Like I said, I'll have a link for it on the top of the description box of my video right here. And the first one. Up right here I got I was just really happy to find out that they're putting it out on blu-ray and it's a movie it's, it's my favorite Burt, one of my favorite Burt Reynolds movies of all time if not my favorite one of all time and I just loved this movie growing up as a kid and that is a movie called cop and a half and it's just the, for the very first time on blu-ray and you know it, it looks pretty decent here on blu-ray of course it's not like you know uh, tra you know transferred from the original film negatives and you know upgraded to 4k like it's, it's not, nothing like that it's just a nice clean uh looking picture you know of this movie right here but if you guys don't know what this movie is uh it's pretty much about burt reynolds's character who's a who's a, a cop on the beat trying to get these bad you know bad guys off the street right and um something happens and uh, this little kid right here witnesses something bad going something really terrible and uh, he's the only witness that can, you know, identify this bad guy that can help Burt Reynolds take this guy out and put him in jail finally. And, uh, and this, this little kid uh, who uh, really wants, his name is Devin Butler, who, who really wants to become a cop. He's always like, you know, acting like a cop when he's like walking down the street at school and just like, you know, doing, doing things like that. He's like, you know, he wants to be a cop so bad when he grows up. So like, you know, uh, he's, he, he pretty much, you know, befriends Burt, Burt Reynolds, kind of like takes him along, you know, as like a sidekick, sort of, and everything and for, for like a day, and then all hell breaks loose. Devin Butler find, sees the guy that he identified as they're going on this little ride-along thing, and it's just a, a, you know, a really cool adventure. I don't know, I, I've, always, I've always really liked this movie. Burt Reynolds is amazing in it. And so is this kid that played Devin Butler. I don't know if I've ever seen him uh, in any other movie after this. Or before, you know what I mean? Or before this. It's just a, you know, a plain black disc and things. But uh, if you guys want this movie in HD, I recommend uh, checking out Movie Zing's website. Really, really good on here. Of course, you get the original uh, f special featurette that was on the DVD. That's pretty much all you got on there. Hi, it's just me. And I have one sitcom for you today. <laughs> and it's one of my favorites. Needless to say, do I hate anything. Anyway, it's from MovieZing.com. And it's the complete fifth season of Mom. And of course, it's starring Anna Faris and Allison Janney. 
Um, this particular season, a uh, lot of different things going on. Uh, Christy's applying, uh, you know, is taking her LSAT and applying to law school. Uh, her relationship, uh, Bonnie's relationship with Adam is going in kind of a different direction. And there's a real twist at the end, and at the beginning too, unless I forgot something from <laughs> season four, uh, regarding Jill that is. Anyway, I don't want to spoil anything for you. I still really like it. Um, if you're looking for a copy, go ahead and go to MovieZing.com and get yours today. I'd recommend it. It's still really good. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Mom, for your guest review right here. I have two more here to talk to you guys about today, both from MovieZing.com. And the first one up right here, no, the next one up, is uh, the complete second season of Step by Step here on DVD. This is a show I used to watch all the time on, uh, on TGIF along with, you know, uh, Family Matters and things. And uh, this is, of course, the, you know, they finally released uh, season two here on DVD. Season one and two were only released on Burn on Demand discs and everything, or DVD-Rs, or whatever you guys want to call them. I'm just happy that they're, they, they're starting to put them out, because they put out all the seasons already of uh, Family Matters, which I have all of them already on DVD, and of course, they they put out all the Living, living Single, and uh, I, I think they're still working on the Waynes Brothers. Hopefully, they keep putting out the Waynes Brothers show, because I love that one. I think we have three seasons left before, you know, we complete that one, but we got, now they put out season two, you get all 24 episodes of season two here on DVD. Uh, all on, uh, you know, what three or yeah, three different di or one, yeah, three different discs uh, right here with the same like artwork and everything. It's just you know pretty much picks up where the last season left off. You know where the Lampert and uh, Foster family are just trying to get along, you know, together under one household because it's two families, you know, uh, you know merging and in, merging into one. You know when, um, of course, you know uh, Suzanne Summers and. Um, uh, Patrick Duffy, you know, get together because they both have kids and they're both separated and they get together and they have to put their family in together and everything. But my favorite character I've always remembered from this show is, uh, of course, you know, Sasha Mitchell, the crazy surfer dude and everything who was also in uh, Kickboxer 2 through 4. I don't know, I've always liked him. One day, hopefully, I get to meet him and everything like that. But I just want to let you guys all know that season two is out right now on MovieZing.com if you're a fan of Step by Step. And last but definitely not least right here is a show that I got a couple days ago and I just uh, watched all of, all of season three already. And that is uh, season three of Superstore uh, here on DVD. This is of course stars America Ferreira as the, as the, you know, one of the main characters here. It's kind of like people that work like at a Walmart slash, you know, Target kind of store. And just like the weird shenanigans and stuff that they get into on a day to day or episode by episode basis. And I just, you know, like them dealing with crazy customers, them dealing with different relationship issues and things like that. And this season picks up where season two left off, where uh, season two left off where, where the whole cast and stuff is stuck in the store. And a big hurricane's coming and things are being thrown around, you know, everywhere. And them just trying to figure out, are they going to live? Are they going to, you know, get past this? And of course they are, because it's, it's, you know, it's a sitcom. And it's just them now dealing with the... You know, the rebuilding of uh, Cloud9, the store that they work at. And, you know, it's, it's just a really funny show. I, I absolutely love it. I watched all the episodes, all 22 episodes of season three already within like a couple days. I don't know. I just like the real sarcastic, funny, you know, over the top humor that they have in this show. And if you're a fan of this show, I just want to let you guys all know out now, moviezing.com, link in the description. But guys, thank you so much for coming by, supporting my videos, I really do appreciate it. And if you guys do like my videos and support them in any way, I have a, a, a donation link in the description box, it's called, it's a, it's a PayPal me. If you guys wanna support me in any way, I have that link down there, I really do appreciate it. You don't have to donate if you don't want to, but the option is there. Also, my social media links are down below to my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you guys want to follow me. And I'll see you guys all next time.